So uh, I have people over. We're going to do a Q&A today. But I think the people that I'm doing the Q&A with are as crazy as crazy can be. But I didn't tell them that I'm saying this in the video. So uh, let's see who they are. Sick. Sick. You, you got, got it. it. <laughs> okay, so hello, welcome to the Honors Academy Q&A, part two. Uh, we have uh, Andrew Comasana, Elliot Bean, Henry Brune, and Chase Borgo. Yeah. These two guys are new faces. Hey. Pretty awesome. We also have some uh, old friends. Uh, for our first question, what do we have? Um, our first question is, isn't Matt Cole so hot? I'd like to answer this question. The answer is yes, America. <laughs> and if you're wondering why, just take a look at that sweet little boy. And his face is right here. I'm just kidding, no, it's not. <laughs> We're uh, Chase, how do you feel about his opinion? Words cannot describe how I think of him. He's just such a beautiful soul. And let me tell you for real, in your dreams, he looks so much better. Yes, yes, that I can relate to that. Frank, how do you feel? I feel like beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Um, I have, uh, and the I beholder have says, Shut up. Man, that's beautiful. Um, mm. I just want to like, <laughs> what I've heard, um, he's very beautiful, yeah. but I heard he's taken by um, Morgan, actually. Yeah, I heard about that too. Uh, actually, you know, hit Morgan and Amaya are kind of. Yeah, bad. he's bad. I would like to stop this right now and put Matt Cole's Snapchat and Instagram right here. Yes, yes. at Matt plays something right, something. Right there. All right, next just, question. Just wait. Do not hit him up. <laughs> he's he's taken. taken. So for our third question today, it'll be our kindergarten memories. Bringing it off to Frank Gallo the fourth. My fondest memory from kindergarten. I can't remember that far back, but I remember one day I threw a piece of paper at the teacher and I got time out. That's wow. the only thing I remember. All right, Andrew. Um, I remember that the playground was uh, memorable. That is the. Uh, the swings, I used to sit on Spider-Man and climb them up. Hey, Dad, did you very get hurt? Memorable. Huh? Did you get hurt ever? No, I was... I was. I know, cares. Henry, go. Uh, <clears throat> I was at McKay for uh, kindergarten. I was the I was the class DJ, which was an excellent executive yes, decision. Yes, so, you know, any kid's bop you wanted, I had it. <laughs> I also remember, you know, back in elementary school when you'd have, like, your own bathroom in your classroom and you'd felt like such a big shot, you were like... <clears throat> uh, there are vivid memories of people singing Justin Bieber while they were doing their business in the bathroom. So, good those times. are my kindergarten right, memories. Good times. My most vivid kindergarten memory is when I said, I must have said something mean to a special ed kid. And then, um... <laughs> <laughs> where, where, I'm not joking, I swear to going? God. I must have said, like, poopy pants or something. What? Because Poopy he pants started an atrocity. He started freaking out at me, and I was like, "Uh oh!" And then the teacher gave me a timeout. They put me in the corner of the room for the rest of the day, and I was crying. I I swear to God, that was the most scariest experience of my life. I have PTSD from it. I never want to do it again. Wait, wait, wait! Can we all have a moment of silence for the cause? Alright, thank you guys. Alright. My fondest kindergarten memory, it was on, I only have one, and it was when my beautiful black teacher, Mrs. Gibbs, who was also my neighbor, yelled at me because I, I was pushing the, <laughs> pushing the marker too hard on the paper. Okay, we're ready for the next question. What's the next question? It's a generic one. What is everyone's favorite color? Taking the mic off to Andrew. Um, there are a variety of colors that are very beautiful, but my favorite is probably blue. He can only name four of them, though, because it's not that uh, My favorite color, it's close. It's either orange or matte coal, so we're just uh, yeah. on the edge on that one. My favorite color is probably black, just like my soul. <laughs> no, my favorite, <laughs> color. my favorite color is turquoise, because I don't know whether or not I'm a boy or whether or not I'm green. Okay, Frank, <laughs> moving on. All right, moving on. Moving Those on. were like the two worst answers of all time. Why were you going to say I thought I was a boy or I was gay? Like, I don't know. Wait, Georgia, did you stop it? Oh, no. Oh, 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 oh no. Okay, cut that, cut that, cut that. Our next question will be, if you could bring back any trend from any year of the whole Earth existence, what would it be going off the chase? The trend I would probably choose is planking because it's just so stupid. 
Why would you fall on the ground and hold that position in the middle of nowhere? Did I tell you about the push-up challenge? The Frank Gallo push-up challenge? I used to just do push-ups in the most random of locations. <laughs> so like right now I'm just gonna go down and drop it and do 10. Add him, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> this is a big tweet. Alright, alright, moving on, moving on. We're big and strong. Alright, mo moving on. He's freaking pumped. <laughs> If I could bring back any trend, it would be <laughs> using rocks to make a fire, uh, 10,000 AD, Homo erectuses. <laughs> I think it's Homo sapiens. <laughs> Moving on to Frank. Okay, my trend, um, this is actually a trend that has to do with like the greater covering of society. <laughs> it's skateboarding! Shut up. The 1990s weren't really okay, a bad time boomer. when Frank's a skater boy. Okay, boomer. I'm just saying that people don't fit anymore and fit. And I'm saying that maybe if there's a trend that makes people fit, like skateboarding, Mrs. Silva. Um, yeah. I have yeah. <laughs> stupid. Um, a trend that I should bring back, um, DIY, um, slime. That was my favorite. That was a I, I loved it. I used to make slime every Give day. Give banana. And it was just amazing. Uh, uh, remember the fidget spinner? We don't want. Don't you dare that. speak of the fidget spinner, Frank. I was a beta tester for the fidget spinner. Okay. I spent so much money on fidget spinners. You know, we need to really bring back the vine. It's Period. Uh, no more TikTok. Do you remember those like uh, those old like classic no. um no. MLG memes where it was the people yes. and they had like the yes. da -da 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 Snoop Dogg. <laughs> yeah, Snoop Dogg was there. Cut the scene. That's what he does to his horse. How old will you be in forty seven years bringing it off to Frank? Well, I'm 14 now, so I'll have to be 255. Sounds alright. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sorry, sorry, sorry. If my calculations are correct. Calculation. Why pineapple? <laughs> Good answer. And you need me to solve that equation for you. In 47 years, <laughs> I will be 47 years old. Doesn't make any sense. You'd have to be like. I can't count that high. <laughs> All right, moving on to me. Um, answer it for real. We need to know. <laughs> <laughs> but yo, I don't know. Sixty-one plankton. We'd all be sixty-one. Thank you all. Yeah. Cutscene. God bless. I did not. This is a special question coming from our viewer Jocelyn. <laughs> special. Right. The next day, it's twice as cold. How cold is it? That's a very good question. Wow. Uh, well, okay. I would like to answer this shut first. Up, shut up, Jocelyn. And I say it, it would be negative three degrees. Thank you. Going on to Frank Gallup. Wait, wait, wait. Can you explain why it would be negative three degrees? Shut up. Should I smack you? <laughs> what? Okay, this is a very interesting thought problem. And the actual answer to this thought problem, the actual answer is that that, that question is a bad question. Oh! oh. Wow. Damn! Damn. Oh. That, that, that oh. is a bad question and there is no use asking that Jocelyn, question. Jocelyn, back, back to STEM. Is a Jocelyn, back thing. to STEM. Jocelyn, back to STEM. Because if you said it was twice as cold and it was 20 degrees out, how cold would it be? Um, I have, I have my answer. It would, uh, I don't know. 10 um, degrees. I'd say it's, um, negative zero degrees to the power of two. Negative 20. I think this question will be ended now, but her Snapchat is right here. Yep. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, end it. Hit her up. This is the second to last question, and it is, what will you be when you grow up, starting with Henry Brune? Uh, when I grow up, I'll be, I'll be a very big brune. You got a lot of lace. <clears throat> but, you got a lot of lace. Uh, I don't know, we're gonna, we're gonna ride this mystery wave of life, and we'll see where we end up. I'm probably gonna die of a heroin overdose. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being serious. I'm gonna end up dead in a McDonald's bathroom. <laughs> not very soon, actually. It's not really something to laugh about. Very soon. It's not something to laugh about. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. President. Um, in 47 years. Oh wait, I'll be dead by then. It's all right. Um, I will most likely be a pharmaceutical director. That's big. That's a big word. Thank you, man. Big words. Going on to Frank Gallup? I have a parable for you. What is it? 
So, um... What, did you make it on Desmos? No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Good this one. Elliot. Elliot. <laughs> Don't remind him of Desmos. <laughs> you can't talk about... It's Desmos, okay? <laughs> nuts during November because of reasons. I don't know. And Morgan can't eat nuts ever. This is Morgan's Snapchat. At her. Oh, she don't she's taking, she's she's taking, taking my mat. Taking right. my mat. Andrew, go. No, no, um, wait. I didn't say what I wanted to be. I don't care. Andrew, <laughs> say I, I know. I'm going to be wherever the the flow of time moving All forward. Right. That's just gonna, what I you're said. Gonna, you're going to solve that question on Desmos. Right? <laughs> I'm going to solve that question. You know what? I'm going to go on Desmos right this very instant. That's our president. Yeah, that's so, that's Corey, that's Corey, that's Corey, Corey, so, 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 no, 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 that's Caps. Go. Come on, Caps, come on. come on. How did you get to Desmos so fast? <laughs> you guys are bookmarked. Oh, it's oh, a oh, 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 this is the final question, and it's a little of a lengthy one, but this is it. Who are your top ten favorite people of all time? Starting off with Andrew Komosano. My number ten, number ten, ten people, right? Just give your favorite person of all time. Um, top, maybe a little top three, whatever okay. you want. Um, <laughs> it's probably uh. Muscle Diego. <laughs> Honestly, I really don't know, but later in my life, if I have an inspiration, maybe that could be it. <laughs> You're passing it to Henry? You mean your wife? Muscles, uh, 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 my top three? Top three or just like number one? Uh, what have you number wanted? One. Number one. Yeah. Uh, Jeremy Roach. <laughs> <laughs> I can relate. I can relate. Okay, so, you know, this is very, very good question. You see... My favorite person you know, of all time, huh, probably, it'd probably have to be Shaquille O'Neal. <laughs> <laughs> Shaquille O'Neal. Have you been visited at night while... Yes, have you I been actually woke up to Shaquille O'Neal. <laughs> have you been shaved? And Tell us about this. Shaquille. Yes. Tell us about Shaquille O'Neal. He know. was standing yeah. over my bed and he, his head touched the ceiling. And his big, strong, muscular Alright, thank you, that's all we have to... Um, wait, 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 wait. My oh. favorite person of all time is either Michael Vick or Eric's mom. Oh! oh my God. Okay. I have like one last... Oh, that was a joke? Please? I was a joke. Okay. In conclusion of this video, I will give my favorite person in the world. So if you took everyone it's here... Freddie Mercury. It's Freddie Mercury. Freddie Mercury. Combine them AIDS. together and... <laughs> combine Pit them Floyd. together. No. Everyone here, combine them together and take everything that they are not and make a person out of that. <laughs> that is my favorite person. <laughs> yes, thank you. Frank, that is so thank you, Frank. That is so cute. <laughs> this is Second Civics. Remember to subscribe. And the prettiest person should to like and comment. Turn on post notifications. <laughs>